Most people in America are familiar with the rules of life. The rules of life are say quite clearly that you are the principal owner of you, and you are not the owner of any other person. Are you familiar with the concept of slavery? Do you understand the concept of enslavement? Have you understood or have you misunderstood the vehicle of slavery? I'd like to ask you this question because there are some people who are slaves to their jobs. There are some people that are slaves to their technology. There's a marvelous book by Tim Keller called Counterfeit Gods, and if you don't understand this, I encourage you to read it. But in life and in Christianity and in every type of life philosophy, most people get that he who has the rules makes God. Now, wait a minute. Does that make sense to you? I don't think so. Let's try again. He who has God makes the rules? No, that wasn't it either, was it? Oh, yeah, here it goes. He who has the gold makes the rules. So what that means, motherfuckers, is the company that you work for, the executive leadership team and their shareholders, make rules and codes of conduct for your principal employees. Principal employees tend to be the low-level man on the totem pole. They are the first rung of customer service for a corporation. The second rung of customer service is a supervisor or manager. The third rung of supervision for a company or literally for a customer service team is the toll-free number that people call to compliment or complain. 